Okay. I don't know, people. Anyway, as you can see, I opened my door. I'm going to go and check, right, what's going on. Somebody has rooted through this shit. Okay. This was closed. It's nothing fancy. All it is is Andre's Walnut Art. This is Spruce Needle Tea. <laughs> A little... What is this? You know. Van for Lea May. Right? The Rio wanted a... A blender for bread. So I I told her I, I have a couple of these, right? So I'm going to piece it together and give her a set, right? This is just some miscellaneous stuff that... Good for Amari. Right? I don't know, somebody threw that in there. It would fit Kyrie. Right? This is a little bag, I thought. You know, look, okay. Anyway, look. There's Amari's stroller. So, somebody moved it. Can you see the box there? So, who do you think did this? Rich or poor? Hmm? Uh, I moved this off to the side. Because I, I need it for the kids. Okay? But you can see what's happened. I had it covered up. You can see. I don't know what this person was looking for. And what do you think? The potato thief? Do you think the potato thief came and did this just to fuck with my head? Come on. Okay. So, anyway. Right? They put that there. This wasn't even out here. Pretty sure that was in the garage. So what, are you, what they're in my garage now? Is that it? <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to the freaking neighborhood, man. So anyway, I didn't tarp it up because I want people to take it, right? But obviously I've got somebody coming into my yard now. <laughs> Actually, into my yard. Come on. Right? So, anyway, things are moving along. Pile is getting smaller and smaller. It's good. See? Look. This is what a tweaker would do. This is tweaker shit. And, uh, somebody that's probably addicted to drugs and don't know what they're doing. Look at this. Just ripped it up. Unless, of course, it's Julian's sister just being a little shit disturber. Right? I wouldn't put it past her, people. I really wouldn't put it past her. Yeah. Just because she can. This looks like a pattern of some kind. Amari stroller. I'll walk off with a bunch of shit. Is that it? Anyway. I don't know, people. I told you it's not easy living in this freaking house. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna have a good day. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'll show you what uh, Wally and his wife have started to work on in terms of yard work. Sarah, that's his wife. They've been married for 10 years and they have two kids. Yeah. She was in here emptying out the planter pots with the trees that didn't make it. And, uh, okay. Giant. It's getting big. 
think that walnut is still up there. So I'll show you. We're starting off with the hen house first. So Wally put in, I would say, a good day's work. It looks worse than it is, okay? I'd asked them to gut it because the raccoons, they got in here and just fucking tore everything apart. Knocked everything over. And then, of course, because it's not completely insulated from the rain, you know, right? So this is the priority. I told them, oh, I don't know, it was five, six, seven years ago. I have to go back into my videos. And it was a couple of guys up from the shelter who uh, did this. And it's still up there. Still up there after all this time. This I made when Andre came back from foster care. And first it started off as a playhouse. But then because I got the chickens, there's actually three nesting boxes in there. So while he's pulling, so he pulled this all out. Right? I'm thinking maybe he, well, oh, this floorboard's not too bad. So whether he puts another one on top, because I want to use up the wood, he's going to have to, uh, uh, because, you know, we're going to try and raccoon proof it. It'll keep the raccoons out, right? Because it's, it's dry. It, it, this, this part in here is fairly dry. Where the water comes from is up there, right? But this is a canopy, people. Right? So all he put on a shelf, it's really sturdy. He thought that was a, a, a way to utilize space. He could actually do a couple more shelves here, really. This is unnecessary. That's only because I had I was thinking of chickens, right? That just to keep it kind of arid in here. And uh, considering all things said, people, it smells good. No mold. I smell no mold. That is so important. Okay? But, you know, so he's going to have to, I'm going to tell him today if he's supposed to come back. He's going to have to board up, right? Make sure there's nothing underneath there. Can throw in a little bit of something just to fill up the space and then just board it up. And there's a smoker. I said, well, if, you know, if you think you know how to do it, after it's all said and done here, we'll try it out. So he's going to, I don't know. So anyway, that's what we're working on right now. And then once it's all done, I'm going to go around the yard. Well, probably pay Wally and his wife to do it. Right? And Andre. Andre, too. Putting in the wood that is not going to be used. Um, oh, just away. Right? Just away. Look at this. This is a weeping willow. Andre and I, we grew it. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. I love this tree, people. You just don't know what it feels like to be up against it so close. Like, you just walk through it. Just walk right through it. That's all. <laughs> hey, I'm inside now. I'm going to finish this video. Whatever is going on out in the front, honestly, people, it looks staged. It looks staged, okay? Just with the stroller where it was at, where they put that black box how they left the bin open with the toys, right? Took another toy, put it on the grass, right? Scattered all those, those, um... It's a form of Japanese wallpaper that you can use either for decoration or for um, insulating a house, right? And it came from those guys, the Koreans, when they used to live there and they moved out. I always had intentions to use it, for crafts but I just don't have time people so I put it out on the road they were all bagged up but clearly it was being scattered around I would say on purpose okay too many things were scattered around in right so did I, I point my finger at Julian's sister I'm sorry people I she's vindictive she comes into my yard you know she she, she there's something wrong with the girl okay otherwise th that's what is which we just seen out in the front is a tweaker that's something a tweaker would do right because you know when or like Sierra 
And even then, Sierra wouldn't go to that extreme. Right? <laughs> you know? So, I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, people. I'm clearing off this over here. Because I only got, what, a week to do this appeal? It doesn't start raining until, oh, I don't know, the weekend. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm putting in full days, okay? Wherever my energy is going, I'm putting in full days, okay? I spent a fair amount of time in the back now starting to, right? Because now that somebody's here that can do these things, I have to make it so that they can get there and fix whatever needs to be fixed, like the rabbit hutch, for example, right, and just whatnot and whatnot, so, so, you know, and I got to do laundry, and then there's dishes, and Mari's got to sit on the toilet today, and I don't know, so one day at a time, people, that's, that's all you can do, oh yes, I know why I turned on this camera, it was not the homeless people that I was, well, the, we can't call them really homeless, because they're at a shelter, so, you know, when you, it just kind of smooths over the, um, you know, the terrible situation, right? Nobody wants to be living in a shelter. <laughs> you shouldn't have to, <laughs> right? It wasn't them who put the tarp there, so that was somebody else in the neighborhood. Now, whether they were the working poor, the poor, the middle class or the extremely rich I don't know who put it there I'm wondering if it was my son but I'm like no my son wouldn't do that for me you know showing remorse right <laughs> but I'm gonna ask him but I, I highly doubt it was him that did that so I don't know who did that so you know whoever did that had their intentions in the right spot definitely displayed a form of mercy right because and um and slowly but surely that stuff is being taken home right people are, i'm finding are taking what they really want not because they can take it but because that's what they need or they could really benefit from it i've been hearing that from like the few people that i've spoken out there right so you know, that makes me feel good, right? Like there was a fella yesterday, um, I don't know, maybe in his late 50s, right? Pushing 60. And he walked up and he picked up a frying pan, an old granny frying pan from back in the day with electric, right? But it's uh, a aluminum pan, right? And it had like legs on it. The little one, it's nice. I you've, I've used it. I've used it. The heat doesn't go as high as I'd like to go high. But either or, it's it's a nice um, portion size. And when you fry on aluminum frying uh, pans, or surfaces, I should say, it's different than, say, a, a stainless steel. There's just, there's just a difference. So anyway, but I have. I already have. So... I let that one go, right, because it was, you know, downstairs and nobody wants it. So anyway, he scooped up on that, and then he he noticed the the uh, aluminum pressure canner, which is another old granny one, right? But these are the best, right, in terms of quality material, right, that lasts a long, long time if you look after it. And I told him that the seal, and it's just a small one, right, and I told him that the seal inside was good. Right, and you know it had its its weight, and it had a little you know tray to put jars on or whatever you're doing there, and um, you know it clicked in good because it's a it's it's an older aluminum, which you can't buy anymore, right? Pressure canner, and he scooped up on that, so that made me feel real good because you know he kind of struck me like my uncle's a man who could cook, and knew what he was doing. Right, so you know, I told him he can keep it. Right, just it's free, just right. Enjoy yourself, have a good day, eh? And then he took off. Then he came back. Oh, I don't know, half an hour later, 
and he's offering me ten dollars and I'm like no 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 that's okay you can keep it he goes no 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 so I said okay okay I'll, I'm gonna give it to my grandson right that that's what I mean by people taking what they want right and uh, but this what we just seen that 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 shit was staged to people okay I know tweakers they're not like that okay not like that 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 was too specific in terms of you can't help but notice right and and if and if that's the case if it really is somebody with that t serious because that you're seeing a form of mental illness there okay that's gone untreated for a very 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 long time that could be very well drug induced okay because i've seen it with sierra but to the extreme that it was like in terms of just the positioning of things being moved around and how it was moved and where it was left just makes me think that that's just being specifically directed at me right and the only person that really has that kind of vendetta is Julian's sister right so whether it continues I don't know once the stuff is gone am I gonna get the same person coming in doing the same shit now with something else if it's Julian's sister, yes. She'll just find another means to come in here and do something. Okay? Because it's too convenient for her. Because she's not far away in terms of when she's in town. <laughs> right? Okay? Uh, if it's a person that, I guess, is living in a shelter, you know... Well, the only thing I can say, people, is in all the years that I've lived here, 12 years, with the high numbers of homeless people in this community, ever since I've moved in, ever since I moved in, I've never really ever had a problem with people on the fringe like that, whether they're actually homeless or residing in part in a shelter in terms of they got a bed for a night, they have to be there by a certain time, and then they have to leave by a certain time, right? In terms of, and then you can't come back until you're expected to be there in order just to have some place to lay ahead. And it's not even a bed. Oftentimes it's just a cot, or perhaps maybe it is a bunk, but you're sharing, okay? Um, out of all those years, there has been one or two when... We had, when, on, when, when the shack was next door, okay? Because they had a lot of traffic, and they actually housed a lot of homeless people, okay? And provided shelter for very, very vulnerable people. But unfortunately, people do drugs and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, with the higher, higher number of people, right, you know, going through the neighborhood, and, and then I had my little house that turned into a mutiny, and I guess you could say it was a shack, okay? Between the two houses and just with the, everybody being flushed out of their houses, people, okay? These people had nowhere to go. So there was an odd time somebody would come and... But then Sierra was around too, right? So, you know, Sierra just did what Sierra did because <laughs> this was home for her, right? So, you know, time she got... One time I went... I caught her. I, I was driving the car because I knew she was poking around out in the garage doing whatever. Anyway, I was driving the car. I was with Andre. And I seen Sierra pushing this buggy with my paint buckets. Right? I had big paint buckets. Right? I always had intentions to try and paint the yard because when the Koreans moved out, they gave me these big buckets of paint. I still have got them kicking around. Anyway, well, one anyway, or two, I'm not sure. But the point is, is, she had a whole bunch of those buckets and whatever else and whatever else, and she was pushing this buggy. Anyway, I followed her, and she went into a house, and I drove in, and I told him, I, you know, I whatever you've done, I want my stuff back, right? And this is my daughter, and clearly she shouldn't be doing this. And they said, oh, you know, well, we just, you know, they, what, they, they that people come with things that they come and they buy it, right? So that people like Sierra can go off and do drugs. So, you know, I was going through that for a little while with Sierra and there would be an odd time somebody would wander and pick up, you know, some metal or something that maybe I wasn't necessarily ready to give up because of whatever, right? 
I'm just using that as an example. But not this. This this is a first. Okay. This is this is a first. This is this was done with intent. Okay. So whether that intent gets worse in terms of it's an actual homeless person, perhaps living on the streets or in a shelter, it doesn't matter. Not pointing no fingers at anybody. Um, I don't think it's my landlords. I don't think it's the Punjabis in the community outside of maybe somebody that might be mentally disturbed. But besides that point, no, I don't think it's that. Okay, a random tweaker just walking on by decided to have a party all by themselves at 5 o'clock in the morning with nobody looking. Perhaps, you know, maybe, but again, it was two-staged. It was two-staged. Why move the stroller if you're not going to fill it up and take it with you. If you have a whole bunch of stuff out on the street that's free, why are you going to come into the yard just to open up bins to see what's inside so that maybe you can take something when... Right? <laughs> why put that black box there right where I'd see it as soon as I came down the stairs? Hmm? Why scatter all that stuff around and then move it up, some over there and some over there just to make it look like a tweaker was by? Why? Why do that? Right? So, it will probably be something we'll never be able to know in terms of who did it. Mm-hmm.